shooting their first free throws of the night right here. Both free throws, good from Crawford. He's a dead eye at the line, fellas. Just call him all the map. He doesn't miss many of those. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Now here's Freak. He's guarded by Rivers. Now here's Freak. He's got nine. Shot clock at six. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. You know, that's hard to explain that way. I mean, I, I guess he thought he had more room than he did. Rivers. And Blake Griffin grew up playing the game alongside his older brother. His dad was his coach. And he credits his brother for inspiring him to work at his craft. You know, watching him kind of go through the process of he started to get, you know, recruited by college coaches and then he, um, you know, really took his game and, and became serious about it. And I watched his work ethic and I watched how he, you know, put the time in, the things he did, and that's kind of where I developed mine. No talking about uh, taking the right course. We know that uh, the older brother of Blake Griffin, three years older, you know, he played, as did Blake, for their dad, Tommy, in high school, and they were terrific high school players. From Minnesota. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Hickson. Pierce comes in for Johnson. J.J. Reddick's checked in for Jamal Crawford. And it's Rivers in for Chris Paul. Freak, he's in at the point. Gorgie Dang is out there with Terrell Wright. Then there's Muhammad, and it's Martin in at the three spot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, yeah, Freak in the last matchup against the Clippers was superb. He ended up with 56 points as he usually does, really knocking down shots from the outside. Numbers like that make you anxious to see what he can do next time. Good hey, job, Doris. Thank you, guys. It's going to be very really interesting to see if. He can stay in a role like that tonight. Yeah, I mean, sometimes those hot streaks can last for days, and, and, and I'm sure they're going to be feeling in the basketball. Hopefully, he's still got that mojo right. Well, they ought to. I mean, when you've got a thorough brand like him, I think you've got to ride him for as long as... screen are some of the top dual threats during the regular season. The point guards with the most success from three. Freak number one. I mean, his first job is to orchestrate for his teammates, but being as fantastic as he is at shooting the three, he's never reluctant to take that shot if it's available. And if I'm coaching him, I want him taking that shot. I mean, just look at the percentage. I mean, that earns you the green light for me on every possession. And the first one at the line is good. No slowing him down. Just incredible numbers for free. 13 points. And he has been the definition of a thief with all those steals. And Clark, defensively, he has played this game just so intelligently. I mean, he hasn't let them get away with any loose passes or sloppy ball him. And both free throws good from free. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And I'm looking for them to increase that lead if they can keep getting to the free throw. And folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of play. Oh, no, he sure does. You're right. It's a dangerous move for him. I'll tell you, what, you may not be able to do that. You guys do more than make up to the back of the side. Amazing aerial skills. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. And Muhammad throws it down. And it doesn't really matter who starts the break with how he runs the floor. He seems to always be the one who finishes it. Yeah, he is.
so fun to watch and how he attacks the ah! rim at full speed like that, man. It's, uh, it's something to behold, the way that guy gets to the rim. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. That deficit will go away quickly if he does. like the one-two punch. Rivers passes to Griffin. Jordan the screen. Reddick for three. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Reddick's got eight points in the quarter. You know, he's putting on an outstanding offensive display. And he may just be getting warmed up here. And that one's good. 21 points for Freak. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. Rivers kicks to Griffin. See, you, you gotta love his aggressiveness finishing inside like that. Well, his leaping ability, Clark, gives him a great advantage. And, and that's why they look to get him the ball around the rim. It's either a dunk or free throws every time. Pierce with the steal. To Reddick. Now here's Reddick, the first break opportunity. Oh, that's a golden opportunity to finish on the break, and he blows it. Yeah, at this level, you got to make that shot. It's plain and simple. You got to knock that one down. They're up by 10. And now let's catch up with Doris. Well, thank you, Kevin. Doc. here in this round one matchup. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. The way he was able to attack the rim in that first half, defenders are going to need to start building walls and being connected defensively if they want to have any chance to stop him. Now, come on, Greg. That's much easier said than done. He's the benefit of the speed and agility to make him extreme. Side, it's Griffin and Jordan. Chris Paul and J.J. Redick are the ball. And it's Johnson in at the small forward position. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team. But he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this game. Freak kicks to Towns. The dish to Freak. Timberwolves passing it around. And that one's good. Eight points for Carl Anthony Towns. And the interior D is really starting to be exposed here. How many layups have they gotten today? Ball outside. To the inside. And stolen by Wiggins. And here we go. Three cannon to the hood. Finishes the freak with a snap. So there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at either end steals fast break buckets. And the other team scrambling to find its game. Great point. I mean, that aggression has allowed them to just create a lot of havoc. And boy, are they taking advantage. Doris Burke has it. They Doris. Doris. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Doc Rivers address his team. He made no mistake that their plan was to run their offense through Blake Griffin. Coach would like to see him utilized in the offense as much as possible. We can expect to see them going to him constantly. Well, they need to make something happen before the start of the fourth quarter, and maybe those changes will do the trick, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. 
Freak dishes to Towns. Freak kicks to Towns. And it's blocked by Jordan. Wiggins against Johnson. Pass to Griffin. Towns with the steal. Last break, Minnesota. And he gets the bucket. Wiggins has got the lead up to 14 out for the Timberwolves. Everything working for him out of the half as they hit four of the first five shots. Discretion is the better part of valor sometimes. Write that one down, game players. Discretion is the better part of valor. That makes three in a row to start the second half. To the paint. Villanueva with the bucket. Villanueva's got six. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball moving out there. Definitely. Ten of their last 12 points have come off assists. Paul. Oh. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Ten points for Chris Paul. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. Muhammad the pass to Freak. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. And again it's Minnesota. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. And Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Now, here's Reddick. Tight defense on him. Pass to Griffin. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Blake Griffin doing all sorts of things. 12 points. And he's been doing also making some changes. Jang, he's checked in for Towns. Martin comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And Freak subbed in for Ricky Rubio. The Clippers also making some changes. Paul Pierce is checked in for Johnson. And it's Rivers in for Chris Paul. You can't... Oh. to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Good on the shot. And that's now six points for Jamal Crawford. They're not as aggressive from the outside here, but maybe they should think about stretching the defense a little bit, like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. And the Clippers moving to change here. Johnson's checked in. So it's Minnesota now. They get it back. And that one's good. Pekovic. Pekovic has got six. Here's 